Well, good morning, Southlake Lake family and friends, and blessed Thursday and happy Thanksgiving. So on this Thanksgiving morning, I'd like us to just keep it simple and, and read 1 Thessalonians 5.18, which is such a foundational verse for us regarding Thanksgiving, and I think therefore so profound for us in its simplicity. But the Apostle Paul wrote this, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And so three things about this that I just want to look at briefly. The first one is in everything, Paul says, give thanks. And so as we've said many times, it's not for everything that we give thanks. That would be disingenuous because God's will, not everything that happens to us is God's will. God's will doesn't always happen on earth. That's why Jesus prayed um, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It was a prayer because it's not an automatic, but in everything, in every circumstance, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's ugly, we are to give thanks to God. And I think that's maybe why um, you see throughout scripture the, the sacrifice of thanksgiving. It was part of the, uh, in fact, the Old Testament sacrificial system that was foundational, but it is a sacrifice sometimes to give thanks in the midst of circumstances that don't seem to be positive. But again, it's something very well-pleasing to God. The second thing he says is, in, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. So to remember that it's always the will of God to give thanks to God. Um, that it, we wonder many times as followers of Jesus, well, what's God's will? What's God's will for my marriage? What's God's will for my family? I wonder what God's will is for my future, my business, my school, my, you know, whatever it might be, my ministry, uh, my service. And it's always just to stop and remember wherever I am, whatever I'm wondering about of what God's will is, it's always God's will to give thanks to him in that moment. And I think that, that in doing that, again, offering that sacrifice of thanksgiving, it opens doors of faith for us because it's an expression of faith. And that brings us to the last thing. It says, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God for you. Thirdly, in Christ Jesus. So you're in Christ Jesus. So Paul ends this brief, powerful verse by reminding us of that, that, that that literally means you're in union with Christ Jesus, that you're walking with Christ Jesus, you're um, living in the presence of Jesus, your whole life and your lifestyle is before the Lord. And so for that reason, because it would be the opposite of faith to be ungrateful, it would be un the opposite of faith to not express the giving of thanks because it's faith to say, Lord, I know that no matter what's happening in my life, that you're in control in this moment of my life. And so to remember that in everything we give thanks for this is the will, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Let me read it in the Amplified. It says, in every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. So again, he's this brings out just the lifestyle part. It's always the lifestyle to, um, to be thankful and continually give thanks to God. So that's my prayer for you and for me today. The last thing I want to just say this morning is how thankful I am for you. You know, as the years go by, I really feel the connection with people that, and I know that you wouldn't be watching this right now unless we had some deep connection in our devotion for, for Jesus. Um, and so I feel that every morning I, I feel the, uh, the spiritual connection that we share together and it's, it inspires me every day. And I just want you to know that I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for you. It means a lot. And so I'll be praying for you today and your family. Let's pray right now. Lord Jesus, thank you most of all for what you've done for us on the cross, uh, what you've done to resurrect and, and to live in us and that we can be in union with you today, walking with you today. Lord, we pray that you'd fill us with your spirit today. We pray you'd lead and guide our way in all things. And we commit, Lord, our lives to be thankful people today, giving thanks to you. Help us to have moments where we will just stop and in our relationship with you, give thanks. But Lord, thank you. We commit now this day to you. We commit our time with our family. Use us in different situations throughout the day. And we thank you that you'll provide for, you'll protect, and you'll direct each one of us, our families, our church family. In Jesus' name we pray.
Will you say amen with me? Well, amen and amen. I look forward to talking to you in the morning. Have a great day. God bless.